up for Panama. Great job. Welcome back to the 68th Miss World Final. 118 contestants are looking for a place in the top 30. These 30 spots are determined by the fast track events, the pre-judging choices, and the head-to-head -head challenge winners. So let's see who qualified. The first 10 places went to the winners of the head-to-head -head challenge, which had over 2 billion views and 20 million votes worldwide. Let's take a look. This year we revised the format and added a second round, making it that much more exciting and intense. Miss England talked about how her best friend committed suicide and whose anniversary date will actually be on the Miss World finale. If I could have lunch with anyone dead alive, it would be Sarah, who sadly committed suicide almost five years ago. Um, I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. It's the fifth year on 8th of December, the night of the final. So this is all dedicated, sorry. Miss Lebanon talked about being an orphan and how she is now helping young orphans in the place that she grew up in. As a child, I always cry and uh, think my parents hated me uh, to be able to, uh, to, uh, to ditch me. SOS taught me um, gratitude and uh, forgiveness and self-confidence. And most importantly, being compassionate towards left and abused children. We also had some very shocking moments, like finding out the United States was struck by lightning as a child. My hair was wet. I was on my computer and the phone all at once. And the way the doctors described it to me, they said that lightning comes down kind of like a hand. So they said I got the pinky of it. And then the next day, my computer teacher uh, brought me into class because my mom made me go to school. She used me as an example of why you shouldn't be on your computers during a thunderstorm. <laughs> But I don't think I'll ever forget the story of Miss Netherlands' hamster. When I was younger, I had a hamster and he passed away. So I made a little box for him to give him a funeral. But it was late and my parents said, do it tomorrow. So the next morning, he was sitting in the corner like, hi. <laughs> and he was not dead, so. One of my favorite answers came from Thailand. One asked, what does beauty with a purpose mean to you? and her answer personified the subject as a woman. To me, beauty with a purpose is spreading happiness. And she's able to put herself in other people's shoes, no matter what class they're in, no matter where they're from, what race, color, or age. And anyone who is as passionate as me knows that they were put on this world for a purpose. It was truly an excellent experience because it showcased all of our contestants as more than just beautiful women, but rather as women of substance. In the second round, our 20 winners from round one faced off against each other as advocates for their beauty with a purpose causes. They were judged by three former Miss Worlds who chose just 10 to advance directly to the Miss World final 30. And the winners are Chile, Bangladesh, India, Malaysia, Mauritius, Mexico, Singapore, Thailand, Venezuela, Uganda. Your head-to-head -head challenge winners, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the head-to-head -head challenge has truly transformed the Miss World competition. Great work, ladies.